Yo, it's me, Chris, and as you guys can see today, I am, of course, wearing the It's All on Like Donkey Kong shirt. I know you're thinking, why do you keep wearing the shirt? Well, it's not because I'm lazy. I did my laundry today, and it's fresh, hot, and warm, and I like it. I mean, this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, a.k.a. King of Beers, a.k.a. Wow, Bill Different! A.k.a. Chubby Random Self of the Flesh, and today we are going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is... Watch a movie. <laughs> what movie are we watching? We're doing something we don't usually do. We're actually watching a sequel to a movie we did before. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds to guess which one it is. Oh. Time's up. You're an idiot. You should have read the title. We're Sheesh. doing Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> and I know you're thinking, why are you doing this? We felt like watching a comedy and I literally couldn't think of anything. And I remembered a lot of people saying the sequel's pretty damn good. Yeah, we know that we don't do sequels often, but... We're going to give it a shot just for you guys who said it's better than the first. And right? we love Eddie Murphy, so it's like pretty easy to watch. Like We can't go wrong with it. We know we're going to have a good time. We're going to laugh. Exactly that. And that's what I'm looking to. Okay? I need that right now. We need some laughter. But you know who always gives us laughter? The homies on the Patreon. They give us laughter that is filled with joy because they're absolutely beautiful, well-extinguished human beings on this planet that we love so much. Just because of you guys out there that are hitting up the Patreon, at some point, we could quit our jobs and do this full time. Wow, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Just for a dollar, you can go and help us out with that, and you can also vote on the polls. You know, you can make a difference and vote for movies that you want to see on Friday. Wow, what a coincidence. Two birds with one stone. That's incredible. And for those of you who are subbing to the Octocode channel, you guys are also equally great extinguished human beings that everyone loves. All right? We love you. Your parents love you. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. Then there are those of you who are not sub to the Octagon channel. You guys are absolute losers. You're just goblins. You're those green little things that you see on the side of the road. <laughs> trying to take your... Oh, they're trying to take your gold and stuff, man. It's disgusting. Get your hands off me, first of all. Yeah, smack them out. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the EXP you're getting from that dumb goblin. All right, goblins. You don't want to be a goblin. Simple fix. You sub to the Octagon channel. You're not green. You're not smelling. You don't have long ears anymore. You can fix those things instantly right now by subbing to the Octagon channel. Thank you. <laughs> Just thank you? Just thank you. You, know, you know, the world thanks you because you're no longer a smelly goblin. We don't have to smell your you know, dumb in fact, little green butt. Thank us. <laughs> yeah. We supplied the cure. <laughs> <laughs> but on that note, we're going to hop right into the movie. We love you all. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a goblin smack. <laughs> Is that a little cowbell? Yeah, that's some cowbell action right there, man. Yeah, some of that moo. Moo. That moo bell? That moo. Bill. Mm, 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 mm. You just know it's about to hit, man, right? Yeah, I know something's about to hit. Oh, calm down, buddy. Yeah, calm down, buddy. Hey, yo! Oh. Hey, yo! Oh. Do exactly as I say. I said please. Yeah, right? All of you eat the floor! Now! Eat the floor? <laughs> eat now. the floor? Oh, shit! He's eating... Eat the floor, quick! I've never heard that before. Eat the floor. No, me either. Hey, the gang's all here! Hey, the whole gang! Two minutes. Woo! Boom! Time! Are they speed running this? Like, what? Hey! 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 Why the chandelier? A bit excessive, no? Wow. Ooh! Woo! Hey, we got bread! Ooh, bread! Ooh! He clean with oh. it! I like that little title screen. Hey, looking good. <laughs> the damn laugh, dude. Ooh. Ooh, we driving in style. Okay. 
Hey, Ace, I would very much like you to meet Judy. She can suck a golf ball through 20 feet of garden hose. Ain't that right? <laughs> I'm very impressed, Judy. Can you excuse us for a Yo, second? She's please? awfully talented. Can you have a seat over here, Judy? I'm impressed. Go over there. I don't even know why Go over here. there. I need some more credit cards. Why? I need a lot this time. How many? Because I need 2,000 this time. Why? 2,000? You can't handle it. I'm sorry. I thought I guess I'll take my bag of money to somebody who can't handle it. When do you need the cards? I need the cards in three hours. I got to make moves. I'm moving constantly. Three hours. I'm moving all the time. Business, you know? If you can't help me, I'm going to do something else because I'm business. You got the money. I got the money. You got the credit cards or not? You meet me at this address. Three hours. So I guess he's undercover. Yeah, once again, man. Damn, we're jogging? Interesting place to jog around. Why does this look like he's gonna get killed? Yeah, this is the kind of place you run to to die. It's like... You're, this is like the perfect place to be buried alive at. And to be never found again. Axel, it's Bogomil. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna have to cancel out on the fishing trip. Oh, man, I was gonna teach y'all how to fish, too. Now look, I'm into something kind of important here. I'll fill you in as soon as I get it straight myself. I, I, I'm late, Axel. Uh, you take care of yourself, you hear? Oh, listen. Punch Rosewood in his eye and slap tag it in his bald ass head for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you in a week. Oh, no. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. What do you mean she doesn't want to see me? She doesn't like me. She doesn't want to meet you. She doesn't know me. What did you tell her? I described you to her. Why? I help you out. Well, Tyler <laughs> asked me what you're doing. I say, I don't know. He's working 24 hours a day. I, Please. I, I, nurse, leave me alone. I'll work undercover with you. Just once. Let me... Why not? I'll give you my number. You just pass it on to her. I'm very close to shooting you right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> as far as the undercover thing goes, I want to be involved. I want to... You want to work undercover? Yes. Okay, listen. When Todd comes and says, where am I at? Tell him I'm out pursuing my credit card bust, all right? Thank you. Now you're undercover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You moron. You called the supervising agent of the goddamn FBI to help break this alphabet code? My men will solve it. Locally, Roseweed. Sir, my name's not Roseweed. Oh, shut up, Rose please. Sweet. <laughs> and you, Captain Bogomi. This alphabet investigation was your baby. I will not have this investigation pissed away. And this crime, this robbery, could be a, a political disaster for the mayor right here. Have you ever heard of due process? Policy requires us to give you a board of review within two days. You got two days. I'm fighting you on this, Harold. Chief Lux to you. Shut up, Harold. Yo, Harold's a dick, man. I hate Harold. Dude, Harold has like the biggest stick on the planet up his ass. Just nesting in there. The stick's taller than he is, and he's like, what, five foot tall? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. Don't do it. Maybe I can help. Yeah, just stop. No! 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 What? They should have shot Harold. Why? Oh, dude, that's not a way to go out, man. Disrespectful. Dude, how can you open the movie? To him dying. No, my heart's broken now. Dude, fucking killing Bogomil right away? Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing. It sucks to be Axel Foley's friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's dead. This guy's shot left to the right, man. That's a fact. Repeating now, the hour's top story. Police Captain Andrew Bogomil has been gunned down, is alive, though he <gasps> is in critical condition. No way, really? Hey, hey! I'm sorry I'm late, but I run into this broad. You're the fucking guy with the truckload of cigarettes that day. Remember I told you about him? You told oh, me about no. the buffalo? Hey, man, take off your glasses. I thought that was you, man. You almost got busted. I did get busted. I lost my whole investment because of you. You know I'm a businessman. I got to work. You come inside <laughs> oh, a half hour late, and on top of all... I love he turns around right on him. What are you talking, cop? He ain't no cop. Are you calling me a cop? You definitely a cop. He ain't no cop. He's my nephew. Well, the dude is definitely bad luck. I don't know what he is. You, he's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking cop? Check his one wire, man. You ain't no cop. Get fucking out of here. Why can't I check if he ain't a cop? He ain't lying. Why can't I stop the Why won't he let me frisk him then? I used to be a Muslim, man, and I know that's talk over here. And then, yeah, <laughs> I ain't doing shit around this dude, man. You want to do business? You know where to find me. Fuck you, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Yo, that's it. That's it. I 
need you to drive the Ferrari for a couple of days. You want me to drive the Ferrari? Yes, I'm going out of town for a couple of days, and I need you. Just drive it around, but nobody can know it's you. You have to be me. How do I drive the car? Well, duck you? down, scoot you down inside the car oh. like to drive like this. Drive yeah. it. No one can know it's you. Please don't tell Ty <laughs> to shoot. Can't do an accident, dude. You don't have a lot of people hanging around the car because it's going to draw attention to yourself. I got you. And I can trust you. Yeah. And you're my friend. Yes. And we're undercover. Yes. And you understand this? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy. Back to T, how you doing? Where the fuck you been? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? So, loose lip. Wait a second. Look, I just thought. That there was a problem. Don't think, Axel. It makes my dick itch. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what? In front of you, a fortune. And my ass is on the line. I okayed all this shit. You got three days. If I don't see some results by then, I'm gonna grind your ass in the dog meat. You got that? A deal. I'll be I'll have a dog meat ass. Now, could you please <laughs> sign my authorization for my flash money? Please? Flash money. Just make sure nothing happens to that Ferrari. That's a $50,000 automobile, you know. Right. Car is safe. I'm driving the car. No one else will be in the car but me. 24 hours of that will be in the car. I will sleep, eat, drink, shit. I wish. No, I ain't gonna shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna shit. Don't worry about a thing. Though. I ain't on the job. Don't worry about a thing. I'm on the job. That's what I'm afraid of. Dude, that car is gonna get fucked by the end of the Yo, movie. Man, I swear, if it does, it will. That was a bad omen for the car. Excuse me. We're the owners of this house. They haven't taken possession yet. They're in Hawaii for a week while the construction's happening. Is there a foreman around? Thank you. Yo, is that some pizza? No, that's some nice pizza there, man. Put the bucket down. Somebody give me the foreman. I'd like to see the foreman. Can you I give me the, the foreman, foreman here. You're the foreman? Yeah. Well, I need to see the plans, then, for this house, because you're making a very big fucking mistake. Get the plans <laughs> for me, please. Me. These are the wrong plans. Right. These are the old plans. Old? These are the old plans. What are you talking about? Weren't you at the meeting? No. With the answers of the 41 to Hawaii? Oh, no. They didn't tell you to come to the meeting? No. I was there. They changed these plans. I don't know. The Andersons, before they went up to Hawaii, they changed the plans. Oh. You guys have destroyed these people's houses, and now Wait, I had to change this. No, you have to change those this thing's round as a donut. What are you, a fucking art critic? No. They got the money, want to live in a donut? Let them live inside. <laughs> Some people say, I want to live in a round house. You got the money for it? Fuck it. Oh, dear, you did the right thing, but whoever gave you this, an asshole. Son of so a stop. <laughs> down, go home. Relax, you got the week off. All right, thank you. <laughs> got Aunt Jane in the minute I saw Foley. Axel's got nine lives, I don't. You boys ready? Let's go. Come on now, both of you guys know that guy Lutz is a shit for brain tin on politician. And his boy Bill, <laughs> he couldn't catch the outfit killer if he nuked the city. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> all for one, one for all. I got a wife and two kids to feed, Axel. You got two kids, not a wife and two kids. Ooh. Shut up. She might Marine's divorcing him again. Billy and I are supposed to report to traffic duty for Christ's sake. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Yo, fuck traffic duty. Ooh. I'll never get tired of this song. Holy nah, shit! Nah, we run that back. What's in the bag? My vitamins. Give them to me. <laughs> vitamins. An hour. Enjoy good health. What year is this? 73? Yes, it is a 73. I know. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <clears throat> he ordered these plutonium nitrate, multi explosive, sound seeking projectiles. So the slightest peep, and your designer jeans ain't gonna fit no more. Now, y'all can work this out after I go. Have a nice day. You could do me a big favor and just drop this off at Mr. Feeling's office on your way out. Hey, let me explain something to you, all right? I have a friend named Bootsy that got killed doing some shit like this not, not too long ago. What's in it for me? I have beautiful daughters. You're asking me the rest of my life? What am I going to get out of this? This is the same way Bootsy got killed. All he found was $20 and a pair of Adidas. <laughs> Down the hallway, right? Fire when you're ready. This is a very upscale shooting range. What the hell? Wow. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a 308 rifle shot, cut to fit the 44 Magnum automatic. Where'd you get this one? Hi, I'm Carla Fry, assistant manager. How are you, Carla? Nice to meet you. Beautiful place you have here. My name is uh, Richard James, and it's very nice to meet you. Ross, could I see you for a minute? 
Be right back. Take your time, Russ. God damn, that's a big bitch. <laughs> Uh, maybe you'd like to have a guest membership. Yeah, that'd be nice. We kind of like shooting guns in the house. Where could I send you an application? 1603 Hillcrest. It's a big white house. Beautiful place. We'll send it along with the 44 shells. Goodbye, Mr. James. I guess that's my cue. <laughs> she hates him so much. <laughs> Where are my vitamins? Here. Here's $20. Get some more. My house in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the vitamins. Axel. Oh, that's a nice home. That is, damn. Hey! I got beer. Watch out, this deck is very slippery. It's beer and refrigerator, and if you like, you can go behind the bar, make yourself martinis. What are you doing in a place like this? What are you talking about? A place like what? A place like this. Women pool, jacuzzi. What are you talking about? I'm spoiling myself rotten. Bullshit. You've stolen this house. How the fuck can you steal a house? <laughs> Seeing rock and roll? Yo, man, look at this. Titties, orange juice, beer. Will you go put your trunks on and get What more pool? could you ask for? I want you out of this pool and out of this house in seven minutes. Axel, get out of the goddamn pool! Oh, no! <laughs> really? Sharp, huh? <laughs> Whew. <laughs> He's so out of place, man. Looks like he just left the retirement home. <laughs> it actually does. Who are those awful? That's former President Gerald Ford. Have you ever seen Gerald Ford with his makeup off? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, can't no. get away with this. God. Oh, that's how you go. Who's the popular blonde? Can you even call that hair? Yeah, that's seven bucks, buddy. For a coat? I can get blown for seven dollars. <laughs> Getting in deep with Axel again. The hell with it. Yeah! That's it, man. Go Finally. out with a bang. Drinks are on the house, President Ford. You're much better looking in person. Hey, hey! Yo! Yo, he's found it the fuck it mentality. He's the president tonight, baby. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Gun! The plants! Ooh. Ooh! Yeah, blast his ass. Yeah, get him! How stupid can these guys be? Oh my god. I am so surprised nobody was hard. Yo. Watch yourself. Cargo. Anybody in there? Fucked up, dude. The matches. Uh oh. What the hell were you two doing here, huh? Just checking parking meters in the area? If I catch either one of you doing anything except traffic duty, I'm gonna have the both the investigated and suspended. Well, sir, technically, this is traffic duty. Technically, you're a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Get out of here, Taggart! <laughs> Dude, Taggart doesn't give a shit! Yo, man, Taggart's so cool right now. <laughs> this Charles Kane, I just met this guy. He works in the Beverly Hills Gun Club. He does? Yeah, Charles Kane. This ain't the guy we're looking for. The dude is a weasel. Well, there's something wrong here. This guy had nothing to do with Bogomil getting shot. If he suspected this dude, you had him picked up in 20 seconds. What are we gonna do now? Let's go to the gun club. Oh! It's, a, it's 11 o'clock, the gun club's closed. So? So? <laughs> the 
is definitely breaking the law. Once we cross the line, there's no way back. I'll go. See, would you lighten up Damn. and take some risk? Rosewood's ready to blow. Hey, man, he's gonna give him the rosewood. They ain't even ready for it. If we open this door now, they take a gun to hold it in place. The magnets have the illusion that the connection's never been broken. Then we take our knife. Hey! We clever. Have a piece. My last one. Spot it. <laughs> None for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cameras in this place, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, no. Give me some light over here. Shit. Oh. What the hell is that? What? That knife. It's mine. On protection. Billy, we gotta talk. What is that? It looks like a needle in a haystack. Map coordinates. Uh-oh. Uh, oh! Yeah. Ooh. The task force will become real. All right, goddammit, who kicked my ass? Yeah, this is Todd. Inspector Todd? Yeah, that's what I said, isn't it? This is... Uh... This is not my office. You damn right it is. <laughs> oh no. Don't tell me that worked. <laughs> that worked? Whoa! He's not even gonna question it. It's a Federal uh, Reserve Bank where banks take their money. I bet Ooh. you 100 to 1. That's the next place it gets hit. Oh. Mmm. Yo, what the hell are they doing? We, uh... Make it an explosive? Hey, can this car go any faster than this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a big ass bomb, dude. It's got buttons and shit, man, that ain't good. You drive worse than Maureen! No way! Oh my god! Oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Rosewood sucks at driving, bro. Yeah! No man, what's that for? I needed more firepower. Yo man, we gotta talk seriously. <laughs> Authorization. A cement truck? No way! God. Here I go again! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh my god! Out of the guy! He's a jack! <laughs> Dude, Rosewood's unhinged! Here. Holy oh my god! No, Rosewood is a fucking menace on the streets, dude. We're gonna break work! I don't know, I haven't tried him yet! Oh my god! Rosewood, he's so fired! There's no way in hell he could keep his job after this! There's no way in hell. <laughs> Rosewood's a Jedi. This was a pickup vehicle. Let's follow it as far as it goes. 
Sarge? The old bloodhound? Billy, isn't this, uh... Yeah. No! Huh? What? Welcome to Matthew for Earthquake Relief. Yo, yo, what the fuck is up, man? Check this out. I get $10 for Chris cars, Rock! I get $20 for limo. What the hell is this? My truck. You may never see it again. <laughs> Gotta die sometime. Might as well be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How'd you get in here? Forget our ass. I see how you got in. It's the suit. You Hefner. Axel Foley. You know how many times I've put your magazine up. <laughs> <laughs> and Max kills cops for a living. I think it's time that uh, all of you left. Goodbye. Yes, he appreciates it, Max. Oh. But take your ass home. Hey, oh, oh see. Max fucked it up for everybody. So <laughs> Yo, dude. Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. Who is this guy? I don't know, man. Like, he's he's... Out of the time. Of... I don't blame him. He's having the time of his life, dude. He's dance wild. I'd oh. dance like a fool, too, if I was there. I told y'all I wasn't always a cop. Yeah, yeah, I know. You fractured an occasional law when you were a kid. Man, Axel Foley knows how to piss people off, too. Sidney Bernstein. Anything that Dent's into, he's gonna have a record of. That's all we got to go on. Why is he driving again? Yeah, leave Rosewood away from the wheel. Why is Rosewood always driving? Sir, we're at the Beverly Hills Police Department. Are you Mr. Sidney Bernstein? Yes, lucky guess. Well, sir, you have 25 unpaid parking tickets. We have a warrant for your arrest. I pay, I pay all my tickets. Sir! Do you own a black Mercedes-Benz license plate number CRL 507? 507? That's my wife's car! No! 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 Bitch! The tickets have not been paid. <laughs> that means you're alive. Can you cuff Mr. Bernstein, please? Cuff me! Mr. There Bern are people out there with chainsaws! You're cuffing me! Well, sir, you have 2,500 <laughs> tickets, and it's your car, so we have to take you in. Wait a second. I've got an idea. What are you trying to say, sir? I like you'd be holding something in that hand, and this hand, you'd forget about. This hand, you'd be concentrating on. That hand, you'd go, what? What did I have there? I don't even remember. <laughs> even like if I had um, $200 in this hand. Ouch, let go of my arm. $200. They're real crisp. Well, now that you think yes. about this, Mr. Bernstein. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to use your uh, computer because I have to wipe all, all evidence of this transaction out, you know. No problem. Excuse me for a second yeah. while I... Uh-huh. Oh, you're going to... Yes, yeah. yeah it's I secret. Will... It's like a James Bond thing. Exactly. Sure. Yes, so yes, you... yes. Thank you. No problem. Hey, no problem at all. Anything you want to use. I can't believe what I don't want to hear it, Billy. <laughs> Gilbert Goffrey was just amazing, man. What a shame. Honestly. Oh. Why is Rosewood driving? He's the only one who can drive fast enough. Oh my god! Goodbye, Mr. King. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, all of them. Oh. Makes sense. Yep. He did fail him like twice. Big true, big true. Mm. Excuse me. How long am I get on the horse? The faster. There. That's oil field. Oh. There we go. The callback. I remember those horses. Yep. They be grazing. Oh, damn. Oh. Rosewood's ready to go. Oh, no. I've been wanting to wear this for a while, Sarge. Jesus Christ, Billy, we gotta talk. What the hell is this? Woo! Guns blazing, baby! Yo. He's got the double shotties! Dude, Rosewood is fucking cool, man. They ain't ready for the wood, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, no, they are not. He's packing a lot of heat. Do you like rap music? Yeah, I like that. You like rap music? Well, turn around real slow then. If you like rap music so much, how come you ain't smiling? I'm smiling. Smile, smile real big. And let's do a rap together. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Say, ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> what the fuck? That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. We got Whoa. some nades. Whoa. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yo, he's literally about to blow. Bro. Oh my god. Rosewood has some serious fucking issues, bro. Oh, it actually saved his ass. Come on, Rosewood, blast their asses. Oh, damn. Oh, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. No. There's no way. Oh my god! Fuck Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Cover me. Go Axel! Yo! They're just getting wasted. Oh man, that's what I'd like to see. Oh shit! Oh! Yo, Rosewood ain't fucking around! Yo, Rosewood really going off! Holy shit, dude! No prisoners, no mercy! That's the wood! God damn! Does it feel good to be wood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh! Damn, he's always slipping and sliding. Hey, man, he's just eating floor. Don't worry. Oh, good one. Oh, my God! There's no way! Did he literally just one tap him? Gone. Oh! oh! All right. Oh no. Looks like she ate some floor too. <laughs> Oh. Women. <laughs> what? There's on, let's go. no way they made There's no way. There's no way they made that show. What? <laughs> oh shit! That was so stupidly funny. Oh my god! Uh, you're on your ass. I think they know that, Billy. Drop your weapons. Put your hands on your heads. You got your hands up, Billy. <laughs> what in hell have you done here, Tagger? Tell me. We solved the alphabet crimes. You shut up! Who the hell is talking to you? I personally solved the alphabet case up in a body bag over an hour ago. No, goddammit, you shut up! This is what the alphabet crimes are all about. Guns! Guns? That guy sold them, and then bought them with stolen money from Adriano's and his own racetrack. You'd see we'd solve the whole goddamn thing! You watch yourself! Just a minute, Lux. Damn! Why I know about this? Because Chief Lux doesn't have the guts to hear the truth from real cops. That's why Woo! we had to go undercover with Detective Foley to solve this case. That cuts it, Taggart. You're fired. Yeah? Kiss my ass. Kiss mine! I think I've just about had it with your abusive attitude. I'm sorry. I get carried away. I'm sorry. It's you are fired. Do you understand that? Don't overreact, Ted, please. You're fired. I want you out of here now. I'm going to kick your ass later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hi, expert Tulich. What the fuck have you been telling me? <laughs> let me talk. When you're done, let me talk to him. Oh, no. Yeah, now that you're done being a California hero, you better get your ass on back here to your real job. Yeah, okay, I'm leaving now. Your secret undercover partner, Mario Andretti Friedman, wrecked the goddamn Ferrari. Hey, here, here, you talk to Jeffrey. Axel, Axel, you know what? It wasn't even my fault. That's the funny thing. There was a bus coming the other... Hello? He hung up. He hung up. Hello? Oh, no. Is there anything we can do for you? Yeah. Why don't you take care of my um, uncle's house till he gets back? 
Hey, Axel. That's not really your uncle's house, is it? Oh, yeah. Trust me. All right. What the hell is going on? It's not me. I'm back. <laughs> All right, so we just finished watching uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2. You guys weren't kidding. You, Yo, man. You guys weren't even lying, okay? No. That was so good. The people good. in the comments were so right. The second is so much better. Oh, my God. They just took everything about the first and just approved upon it. They just escalated everything. The action, the the, the amount of guns. Like Rosewood's going crazy. Yo, Rosewood, man? Holy shit, dude. A one-man army, I swear to God. The people are running away. ba ba ba, -ba. Like, Rosewood, they, Rosewood. They're, they're done. <laughs> their, their guns are on the floor. Rosewood, stop, please. My God, they weren't kidding. Because a oh, lot of people God. in the comments are like, wait till you see Rosewood in the next one. You think he was bro, blasting here? Bro, Rosewood was blasting. He destroyed so many fucking cars, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Not even cars. Even okay. the speed, even like the... Uh, uh, the 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 pay meters. Speedometers. He yeah. fucked the speedometers. He fucked trash cans, fire hydrants, dude. Anything in Rosewood's way, fucking got demolished, bro. Oh my god. You know oh, what? Dude? And Rose you know what the best part is? They let him drive every goddamn time, dude. I'm telling you, man. Rosewood, he's reckless at drive. Well, surpasses reckless. But you know what? He got from A to B very fucking quick. I'm telling you that much, okay? Dude? Yeah, it's really easy when you just plow through everything. Yeah, it's easy when you don't need roads or uh, oh. red lights. Never heard of them before. Fucking go right through them. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Rosewood. Stop, son. Get out of my way. Rosewood is considered a natural disaster, all right? Like, wherever this man goes, havoc is wreaked, okay? Yeah, man. It's fucking incredible. I love that. And just, I think the jokes as well. Oh, my God. The jokes were so... I still can't believe... <laughs> They had Taggart shoot the tall woman and go like, women, am I right? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, like you said, man, salute. Never see that joke again. Boom. They'll never do that joke again. <laughs> no. But the delivery and everything, it was just <laughs> hey, like, dude, I, <laughs> I can't believe I, I, they, 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 they wrote that and they're like, that's killer. <laughs> it's so cheesy, corny. It, but it's just it, perfect. It was so funny. That it was man. so funny. Nah, there's just so many great lines. Even like Eddie Murphy was like, "That's a big bitch." Like, dude, I loved how he just talked himself into everything. Oh, dude, I I really love those scenes where Eddie Murphy just kind of like slides, you know, Axel Foley kind of slides himself into a thing and makes an opportunity and just says, "Hey, I need to do something." Yeah. The thing is, he talks so fast, he's so annoying, and he's so disruptive that they're just like, you know what, man. Whatever, do what you gotta do, get yeah, away from me. What, yeah, whatever gets the fuck away from them, right? <laughs> Bro, oh my god. I, oh. I, it's like, the man can't get away with this. He can't do it every single time. Oh, and I love the ending of the film. It's just a freeze frame. <laughs> Bro, it's just like the first one. Freeze frame of that shit-eating grin, dude. Like, oh my god, man. And dude, of course, um... Gilbert Godfrey, like... Oh my god, dude. It, it's sad oh, that he passed away. Dude, R.I.P., man. That guy is just like... What a funny dude, honestly. Absolutely one of the most hilarious men to ever live. I adore him. And he was so funny. Funny. He has, like, one of the most iconic voices I've ever heard. Yeah. You hear it, you know it's him. Yeah. It, it, you know? Without a doubt. Like, that voice is just... One of a kind. God, what a shame, man. R.I.P. to him. R.I.P. But, jeez. I'm actually really happy that we decided to watch the sequel. Yeah. Dude, it's so sad to know that the third one has been renowned to be not good from what i've heard people are saying it's not good but i'm but like the reason why is people like that didn't enjoy it because it becomes too humorous it it doesn't have more of the darker storyline you know with uh you know uh, what's his name there what do you mean the, the, the his name his, it starts with a b bogamil or Bo bogamil 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 something like that bogamil Bo Bog i forgot so i just not... it's such a weird yeah name. because okay. With Bogomil, and like it was pretty dark, you know, it was a little serious tone yeah, with yeah. Bogomil. Another homie getting, getting shot, dude. Like fuck, man. I, I Except this you. one lived. This one lived, but still, man. Being Axel Foley's friend, dude. If you're not a Rosewood or Tiger, dude, it fucking sucks. Okay? Yeah, honestly, you're getting shot. You're not doing the shooting. But you know, they had that deeper undertone, like that more of serious also, like, note. Yeah. And apparently, that third one's just full blown, more like just jokes and stuff, and it just it loses that. But entirely. I'm wondering, like. It, is it, but is it bad? Is that what makes it bad? Or is it I, just like... I, I don't know. Because people, I don't know how that would just make it a bad film. People in the comments are going to defend it or hate it. We'll, we'll see what they say. We'll, we'll decide okay. from that. To be but, honest with you guys, so far, I'm on board to see the third one. Because I love Eddie Murphy as Axel Foley. Like, it, yeah. it's, it's such a good role. He's so funny doing it. Yeah, it That's just it. It, it, he is, oh, he's just too good at it. 
I, I just really love, like, the characters, even Rosewood and Taggart, are so goddamn good. Yeah, they're, they're also very funny in their own way. I like how through, like, the movie, the further it went, Taggart slowly started giving less a shit. Yeah. And it just kind of rolled with it. It's like, yeah. whatever, okay, all yeah. right, let's a do it. Axel Foley was, like, influencing them. You know, and the thing is, Rosewood is, like, he's a, he's already a bit on the edge of going, like, a bit gun crazy. When he's with Axel Foley, man, he jumps off that cliff. Right off the edge, man. He definitely did. Like I told you, man, he watches way too much Rambo movies. Yeah, the, the, the he, missile. He, he watches too many Stallone movies, man, all right? <laughs> he's not afraid of anything. But I don't know, man. I just, I had a good time. I genuinely enjoy this. I think maybe even more funny than the first one. I felt like there was you know, a lot know, of hard-hitting well, jokes. That's the thing. I actually do think this is better than the first one. Just because you could tell that they knew the first one was a success and they made it even better. That was the thing. It's As they said, it's a sequel that's better than the first it's very hard to do that. Yeah. But they did it. They nailed it. they upped all the things that made the first one they fun. They upped the humor. They upped the action. What more could you ask for? Honestly, I thought it was just so good. I enjoyed the whole thing. I thought the story was pretty believable. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I had no problems with it. I feel like it's like... I just like how Axel Foley just completely dodges all his work in Detroit. He's just like, fuck it, I'm out. And he goes to like California. I, like, I, it's I, nothing. Every time, he's just like, oh, see you in Detroit. I'm going away. Yeah, he just finds an excuse and finds a way to get his ass over there and he's gone. Yeah, then he succeeds so well. It's like, we can't really fire him. Yeah. Dude, I gotta say, I love the chief of police in Detroit. I love him. Every time. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Every time, man. He's always like wondering. He always how... sounds angry. Dude, he's always pissed. Dude, this guy has high blood pressure. I'm not kidding you, all right? This guy's pissed 24-7. I don't really blame him. He's no. every right to be. Well, dude, dealing with Axel Foley all the time? Yeah. Like... And his undercover, uh, his fellow <sighs> undercover cop. You can't drive with shit. The fact that he told him to take the car and drive it around and everything. Jesus you just, Christ. it's like you said. Man, I you, told you, man. The yeah, car yeah. was doomed from the start. Oh, yeah, 100%. As soon as he gave the reins to that beautiful beast, to that guy, yeah. I was like, it's dead. It's never going to, it's gone. There's no way in hell. It's gone. Yep. RIP to the car. RIP to the car. And everybody else that Rosewood killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need a body count for Rosewood, dude. All right. Yeah, we need. Think, a, yeah, he, and I'm counting the guys who are driving the truck too. Okay, dude. They got fucked out. Okay, dude. Like those guys are blown to hell. Oh no. I, I still, I can't believe that, dude. How fast Rosewood is to pull the trigger and blast people with no questions asked, man. He's just blasting away. Hey, Holy crap! I like how everyone comes up with their hands up. We gotta get the sh the fuck out of here. Everyone's running. Rosewood's running at them and blasting them. Let them go, Rosewood. It's done. Like, oh, you won! What more do you want? I like how even the cops are showing up. Bang! Bang! He's yeah. blasted! He's unloading on them. Like, dude! Like, it's fine. You got him. Oh, man. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to leave it on there. Yeah, there's not much more to say about this movie. It's absolutely phenomenal it's movie. It's just fun. And you know what? I appreciate films like that. I don't think a lot of films nowadays really try to have that kind of fun and humor. No. Like, it, a good balance well, of like it all. It's super fun. The villain's just a villain. You know, he's just there to be... The generic villain. European villain, am I right? Pretty much generic European villain. It works, you know? I like that. That's all I need. A simple... You know, I just need some simple fun. I feel like a, too many movies try to be complicated nowadays. They're not trying to be fun anymore. Yeah. They, they kind of lose that. They, the humor and the action, they don't blend it well. They take too much of that seriousness and run with that, but it's like... You don't need, you don't need a lot of that. No, you don't. You need a touch of that. They kind of pull on our heartstrings. But you need some more fun. I don't know. I, I just, I think the 80s, like, from all the movies we've seen from the 80s, they are the definition of fun. Yeah, you know, the movies in they the hold, 80s... They hold nothing back, man. Like, they go all in with oh, everything. Oh, 100%, dude. You know what? I can guarantee you, like, creating films in the 80s must have been some of the most fucking fun of any director's life. Because it seems like they could just go, like, all out. Yeah. You know, and just do whatever they want. Any movie we see from the 80s, I get excited. But anyways, guys, we're going to leave it on that note. We're going to peace on out like the Ferrari. Peace on out like the Ferrari. Peace on out like Rosewood's victims. We're going to peace on out like the big bitch. <laughs> we're peace. We're peace on out like everybody, all right? A lot of people died in this fucking movie, okay? Adios. We getting out of here. Give it a bit. Give it a bit. Give it a bit. Hit him with it. Bang!